been trying, we've been learning how to make a bit of a bunker, and then we've been learning about seeds and soil and sand, and we've just started learning. We've just learned about um, moist, the moisturising pogo thing, which you stick into the ground, then you on an iPad you press a plus. And it tells you the moisturiser, how moisturised it is. First Green is a STEM outreach programme working with students from age 10 upwards into secondary school, teaching them all about the skills that Greenkeepers use daily on the golf course, which link to science, technology, engineering and maths. And it's a really great initiative that links local communities with golf courses. We've been told by our members that recruitment and retention is a massive issue. and We are bringing First Green to them to enable them and give them a toolbox to be able to bring in the local community and school schools and to be able to attract the future of our industry. It's been a really exciting opportunity for the children to come and be outdoors which is a first bonus but also for them to develop an awareness of how greenkeeping has an impact on the golf course. A lot of the children are not aware of what a greenkeeper does. STEM is something that we've been trying to raise the awareness of within our school over the last 18 months so this was a perfect opportunity when we were, in, we were invited to take part. We've been putting holes, we've been learning about animals, we've been making bunkers and we've also been looking at types of grasses and seeds. I've liked the way that we've been able to learn about like nature and how the greenskeepers look after and you also get a taste of the golf as well that you get around here. Morning, I'm uh, Chris Trimble from uh, Royal Liverpool Golf Club and today we've got the first green initiative and uh, basically trying to get the kids engaged in what a greenkeeper does day to day basis. We've got a few stations uh, around where they can experience a few different things and it's, uh, it's really is it's fantastic seeing the kids engaging in what we do, asking questions, they're getting really excited, uh, especially with the, the pogo and the irrigation system, seeing the, uh, seeing the water go up in the air. So yeah, it's, uh, it's really fantastic. Yeah, it's been fun working with kids hopefully to get them involved within the greenkeeping industry one day. A lot of them that were wondering what certain tools did to start off with that were excited, wondered whether it made a hole in the ground. So they had a little bit of an inkling of potentially what something might do, which is, which is good. We've been doing putting and building a bunker and we were talking about the, like, the nature here. Yeah. What have you liked? What's been your favourite bit? Uh, making the the the, the, bunker, the sand. yeah the bunker. I uh, I usually do buildings in the sand when I go to the beach, and it reminds me a lot of that. It's fantastic to see children engage with what greenkeepers are doing um, and it's also great to be able to highlight the fact that golf courses can be really good for nature and actually greenkeepers are a key part of that in the habitat that they manage and the kids are really excited about all the nature that they might see on the golf course. Uh, today's been absol absolutely amazing, um, it's so nice to see that the kids are so enthusiastic um, that they are able to learn different parts of the golf industry so from greenkeeping to my side of things which is the professional golf and um, clearly I'm only doing coaching today but there's so there's so many different areas so it's really um, nice to see them enjoying themselves so much so hopefully um, we can all be a bit more of a role model and inspiration for them to get into it and you know go home and tell their parents about it tell their friends about it and um, this is what it's all about really just so incredible how big it is and other stuff like that and like how, how many people, like the short amount of people there are to be able to make all of this. I really like like measuring the grass, see um, that it's three millimetres, four millimetres, yep. I've liked that we've done lots of activities and um, I think I'm really excited to eat. <laughs> really excited to eat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hosting a first green field trip on a golf course is really easy. Um, if you're a school and you want to get involved, reach out to your local golf club and if they are a member of Bigger, they can hold one of these events for you. 
Um, if you're a golf course and you're a member of Big A and you want to get involved, take a look at the website and get in touch. We can help support you run a really successful event on your golf course.